Happy 77th Independence Day. On this auspicious occasion, together with my family, I bring warm greetings to the respected advisor, National Commission for Women of India, the Superintendent of Police, Okro District, and his family, District Session Judge, the Divisional Forest Officer Ukrul, the ADC Ukrul District, the Additional SP Ukrul District, the Deputy Commandant 6th MR, CEO ADC, CMO and his team of Medical Officers, the Bank Managers operating in Ukrul District, all district level officers and their staff, the President, TNL, the CSOs, the awardee, the recipients of different awardees, the CSOs, the pastors and catechists, headmen and VA members, women, children, and all members of the public. Ajumathar, Grown Hili, Kizipta Glaya, Mizai Koruli, Iwiringapa, Salam, Midalai. We are reminded of the 200 year long British rule of India from which the country gained her independence through the selfless sacrifice of thousands of brave patriots who fought the freedom. Hence, today we celebrate Independence Day. On that historic day in 1947, just before midnight of 15th August, Jawaharlal Nehru declared that India made its trust with destiny. We look back with great pride the dawn of glory and the freedom for the citizens of India. Under the theme, Nation First, Nation Always, we celebrate this year's Independence Day. There are many little known women freedom fighters who made significant contributions to the country's independence movement against British rule. They faced social discrimination, but they challenged patriarchal norms and joined the struggle for freedom, inspiring the younger generations with their bravery and determination. Today, I would like to highlight the names of some brave women, Rani Laksmi Bai, Begum Hazrat Mahal, Kasturba Gandhi, Kamala Nehru, Sarojini Naidu, Annie Besan, and Rani Kaidin Liu. One that deserves special mention is Rani Kaidin Liu, who led a revolt against British by the age of 13. Her bravery inspired the tribal communities of Northeast to join the independence movement. She was imprisoned by the British for her revolt and is remembered as a symbol of resistance against the mighty colonial rule. These women advocated the rights of women, including their right to education. Freedom fighters put themselves and their lives at stake to ensure the liberty, freedom of rights, and self-determination to supremacy, which clearly demonstrates their motivation of putting nation first, always first, even to the point of sacrificing their lives. The year-long observance of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, celebrated 
75 years of India's independence. Under this initiative, various programs acknowledge the rich cultural tapestry that is India, her history, achievements, and most of all, the resilient people. On this 77th Independence Day, we highlight some key achievements in various fields, science, education, health, communication, information and communications, technology, social upliftment, finance, that includes financial inclusion for all sections of society, law and order, sports, entertainment, social security, women empowerment, and food security. Allow me to list some in chronological order. 1950, we saw the introduction of right to vote and India become a republic. 1950, the railways network was nationalized. India today has the largest railway networks in the world. It hosted its first general elections. It also hosted first ever Asian Games in New Delhi. 1955, the Imperial Bank of India was nationalized and renamed as State Bank of India on 1st July 1955 by Government of India. 1956 designed and built Asia's first nuclear reactor, Apsara nuclear reactor on 4th August 1956. In 1958, the Ambassador Car, fondly called King of Indian Roads, rolled onto the streets. 1960 started Green Revolution. It led to an increase in food grain production, development of high yielding varieties of wheat and pulses, and today we enjoy all these benefits. 1961 passed the Dowry Prohibition Act 1961, prohibiting the giving and taking of dowry. 1963, the first rocket, rocket was launched in India. 1970, the White Revolution, which is known as Operation Flood, the world's biggest dairy development program pioneered by Verghese Kurian transformed India from milk division India to the world's largest milk powder producer. In 1975, the Arya Bhatta spacecraft was launched, the India's first indigenously made satellite. In 1978, India's first com personal computer, HCL8C, Hindustan Computers Limited, went on sale. In 1983, it won its first Cricket World Cup with Captain Kapil Dev at the helm, defeating West Indies. In 1984, India sent its first astronaut, Rakesh Sharma, in a joint mission with the Soviet Union. On October 24, 1984, India got its first operational rapid transit system metro serving the city of Kolkata. In 1986, internet services started and was available only for the education and research community. 1994 saw Sushmita Sen become the Miss Universe ever for India to hold the title of Miss Universe. 1995, India made and received the first mobile call by using Nokia handsets on 31st July. 1996, India got its first electric vehicle, which was a three-wheeler vehicle named 
Vikram Safa. In 1999, the Delhi Lahore bus service was flagged off and also India won the Kargil War. In 2001, government launched the Golden Quadrilateral Highway Project connecting four major cities, Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, and Kolkata. 2005, the RTI Act was passed by government, which helps people to acquire information they won from government officials. The Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Development Act was enacted. It was the largest work guarantee program with the primary objective of guaranteeing 100 days of wage employment per year to rural households. Also, the Domestic Violence Act 2005 was introduced. In 2008, India successfully launched Chandrayaan to explore the moon and the greatest achievement was the discovery of water molecules in the lunar soil. Abhinav Bindra won the gold medal in the 10-meter air rifle event in 2008 Olympics, the first Indian individual to win a gold medal in the Olympics. 2009, Right to Education Act was passed. The first indigenous submarine was launched armed with ballistic missiles with a range of 3,500 kilometers. 2012 introduced 4G telecommunications network in India. National Food Security Act was passed with the aim to provide subsidized food grains in 2013. Indian Space Research Organization launched Mars Orbiter Mission to probe Mars and the first nation to reach Mars orbit in its first attempt. 2014, World Health Organization certified Southeast Asia region, which included India, a polio-free region. Also, India launched its own GPS system. In 2017, the goods and services tax became effective from 1st July 2017. The Supreme Court struck down the practice of instant triple talaq, by which Muslim men divorce their wives by uttering talaq three times in quick succession. The Apple started selling first made in India iPhone. 2020, India developed Covaxin, India's indigenous COVID-19 vaccine by Bharat Biotech. 2021, we see Neeraj Chopra as the first Indian to win Olympics track and field medal for India. 2022, India's newest rocket, 34, meter tall, weighing 120 tons, small satellite was launched. Since the creation of Ukru district in November 1969, which was earlier known as Manipur East District, Ukru has witnessed and experienced progress and development in many areas of social, health and education, to name a few. The governmental setup with many different departments have created employment and educated population, improvement in standard of living, access to information and knowledge, medical facilities, better communication through building of roads and bridges, construction of community facilities, and so on. At this juncture, we stand at a point where much has happened in the district. Different departments function, coordinate, and make concerted efforts for continuous progress. The Ukrul District Police continues to play a pivotal role in maintaining peace and safety in the district. 
In response to the state government's war on drugs campaign, a combined team of Kukru District Police, along with District Administration, 6th MR, Forest Department, and NAP, had carried out extensive destruction of illicit poppy plantation at various places in Ukru district from the 1st January of 2022 onwards. Altogether, about 868 acres of illicit poppy plantation have been destroyed. During the same period, over 90 kgs of brown sugar and 55 kgs of opium were recovered and seized in different FIR cases and 16 persons were arrested. With the increase in the number of vehicles, traffic management in and around Ukru town has become a major challenge for the district police. Despite limited strength of around 35 civil police, VDF combined, are utilized for regulating traffic which reduced motor accidents. For the past six years, 14 such accident cases have been reported. The district police is actively involved in the cleanliness drive in and around Ukru in collaboration with the district administration and the small town committee of ADC for waste management. Police personnel, VDS are also detailed 24-7 to keep a close watch on littering in public places. White publicity has also been made through the use of PA system. As part of policing initiatives, the district police has initiated awareness programs regarding child trafficking, OXO and drug abuse, receiving positive responses. Two new border police outposts are coming up near border pillars 129 and 130 at Tucson Civi and another one at Poi Village near border pillars 126 and 127. Construction work of the above new police outposts are in progress. This will check entry of illegal immigrants and import of banned products. Women help desks have been set up in all police stations of Ukru district to address the grievances of women and children. The Forest Division of Ukru endeavors to conserve and protect the forest, catchment areas, and wildlife to create a sustainable life on earth. I would like to mention a project aided by German KFW Development Bank. It is community driven and funds 23 villages in the catchment areas of Thaubal River for livelihood activities in connection with the conservation and preservation of the catchment areas. Vandhan Vikas Kendra under TriFed is an initi initiative of the Ministry of Tribal Affairs. The district has now 23 VDVKs. Each VDVK consists of about 15 to 20 self-help groups that come together for processing and branding of minor forest produce. Ukrul District, Siraru Kongchili, Longpi Hampai, Wild Apple Candy, and many more value-added products are in great demand, not only in the state, but also abroad. So far, approximately 62 lakhs of rupees income have been generated by the VDVKs from the sale of their products, which is very encouraging. This has become an effective means of empowering women through economic self sufficiency. The Agriculture Department has worked with farmers by distributing curry seeds of paddy and maize of 1.5 metric tons each under RKVY. They have also distributed urea fertilizers in the foothills of Ukru. In addition, farm machineries under submission on agriculture mechanization 
like farm machinery bank, mini rice mill, water pump, sprayer, power tiller, harvester, and threshing machine have also been given to the farmers. The agricultural agriculture census of 21-22 as phase one was successfully conducted having mapped Ukrut block of 65 villages, Chingai 18 villages, Jesami 12 villages, and Lung Chong Mai Pai 28 villages. These data will now be the basis for funding of agricultural programs and projects. The implementation of MNREGS has ensured social security by providing income generating jobs requiring minimal skills for rural population of about 38,000 in Ukrul district. The rural roads program have connected many villages to many subdivisional headquarters, district headquarters, state capital and the nation at large. Some of the PMGSY ongoing roads are like Siroy to Humlang, T07 to Ramvu, Kurasom to Wahong, Chingai to Huishu, Ruchai Kunau, which covers about 112 kilometers at a project cost of 6,587.77 lakhs. They have new projects that are coming up, like Dungrai to Nungshong, Shangqing to Ukrul via Hong Kong, Pungrai, Pangrai to Kamasong, Pungrai via Sihai, Kongai to Tusom, Karasom Lazo to Lai, Jesami to Sarapung, Sorapung, Chingai to Aluram via Tusom, which will cover a total of 71 kilometers. This will further connect towns and villages. The Public Works Department of our state continues to build roads and structures for the district. Road improvement works are being carried out from Zalengbung to Sinabete, Imphal Ukrul Road from New Heaven to Talui Junction, improvement of Ngaingu to Lui Junction to Somdal, Ngaingu to Lui Junction to Tuinem, which is a total of 36, 60 kilometers, and they are in progress. The PWD is also undertaking improvement of the tourist complex at Shirui, construction of guest house at Somdal, construction of rest house at Nungbi Kulen, construction of guest house at Poi village, construction of guest house at Ringui village, which is targeted to be completed by October of this year. For women and child development, ICDS is taking up many such programs as Girl Child Day, International Women's Day, Ocean Pakwara to increase nutrition of children, felicitation, training of Anganwati functionaries on Ocean Tracker application, World Breast Feeding Week. The Education Department prioritizes providing free and compulsory education to all children from 6 to 14 years under Right to Education Act 2009. It includes free school textbooks for classes 1 to 8, free school uniform for both boys and girls of classes 1 to 8, and midday meals for classes 1 to 8. Jan Aushati Kendra Medicine is made available at subsidized prices and they are mainly for chronologically ill patients who need medicine for a prolonged period like high blood pressure, diabetes, cancer, etc. We have one pharmacy counter at District Hospital at the OPD main gate and a second outlet is opening soon at all District Hospital CMO office. I would like to encourage the community community to enjoy this benefit. We also have the regular immunization and the deworming program which is taken up twice in a year under the National Health Mission Program. Gathered here today 
we see a lot of promising youths who after education or who after having completed class 8, class 10, class 12 are unemployed and they become vulnerable to social problems like drug addiction and alcoholism. It is important to equip them with skills and create employment. With the right training, they can have meaningful careers. The District Skill Committee has formulated plans to provide employment through different training courses. All youths have the opportunity to enroll in the program offered by the District Skill Committee. As we celebrate the hard-fought freedom, let us remember that each one must do our part to preserve the legacy of freedom. Freedom of thought and action. We must act to strive for progress and thirst for new knowledge, act with wisdom in showing our love for our motherland. Varena somi gahai ramhi idum na leshida naumisa. Tui gara nautod vivang horchamri gahai song kapai ram akha sang saksa. Yuru vivang sheba sakangai ning zangda idum na ngalai ramhi semkau kuisa. I vivang kaji pale yuru vivang kaji ning aina odram ngatisa. Varena sokami ngalai ramhi idum na rahai rargang saks. God bless our beautiful and unique Ukrul district, our home, our state, our motherland. Jai Hind.